the backside 180. This trick is exactly what it sounds like. You pop your tail, and then your body and your board turn 180 degrees in a backside rotation. This is considered a beginner trick and should be learned sometime after all this. Things you should know before learning a backside 180 are an ollie, a backside pivot on your nose, and this one's optional, but I really think that learning backside 180 reverts can really help you get used to the feeling of doing a backside 180 rotation, especially when it comes to learning how to wind and unwind your shoulders for the rotation. The main parts to this trick are the popping of your tail, the swinging of your shoulders backside, which will be followed by your hips, and following through with the rotation, landing, and rolling away. For me, the foot positioning for this trick is very similar to an ollie, except I move my foot down from off of the tip of the tail and put it more into the pocket. This helps me to give the board somewhat of a backside scoop, which just helps me get the full rotation down. You may want to try different positions for your back foot. I know some people are comfortable doing it just like a regular ollie, but this is just what works for me. And my front foot is just a little past the center of the board towards the front bolts, with a pretty good portion of my foot on the board. Before I get into the steps to learn this, I want to point out that there are two ways of practicing this trick. The first is where you pop and try to fully rotate in the air, which is what I try to do, but I kind of suck at this trick. And the second, which is probably a little more common when trying to learn backside 180s, is when you pop the board, try to land on the front trucks and do a backside pivot. Even though this isn't the way I generally do them, I'm going to try and teach you both methods because different things work for different skaters. So the backside 180 for me is a trick that doesn't really have too many little in-between practice steps. Because the concept of a 180 is so easy to grasp, I think that just jumping into it and trying to do an ollie and turn backside is a good starting point. What I mainly want to focus on are the things that you should watch out for to make sure you're not doing wrong, as well as show you the pros and cons of the two different practice methods that I talked about earlier. So before anything else, I'd say it's important to understand the concept of kind of scooping the board around with your back foot. It's the reason why I put my foot sort of in the pocket, and it's something pretty simple that you can practice just with one foot on the board. Now it's going to be kind of hard to actually do a full backside 180 like this, but if you can stand on the board with just your back foot and then pop it down and scoop it so it turns backside, then that's a good start to get the first part of this trick. After that, I'd say you probably just want to jump into it and start practicing this trick while standing still. You can work on popping your tail and giving it that slight little scoop motion with your back foot that I said, and then trying to turn your body backside. Now you may not get very far at first, you might just get a little bit of a 45 degree or even 90 degree turn, and that's probably because you're not using your shoulders. So let's talk about winding up your shoulders really quick. In most 180 tricks, whether it's front side or back side, the winding up and unwinding of your shoulders is what's going to give you a lot of the power in order to actually turn your hips, your legs, and your feet, and finally your board. So what you should practice is winding your shoulders in the opposite direction of your rotation, and then when you pop the tail, you unwind them and turn backside. So adding this motion with your shoulders to those very first steps of practicing while standing still should give you a bit more of a rotation. If you're having a little trouble with these steps, one thing you may want to practice a little bit are your backside 180 reverts. Now you can practice these either while rolling or standing still, but you basically want to take the same body movement from one of these reverts and add in a pop on your tail. Now once you're at this point, there's one main thing that I always had trouble with when it came to backside 180s. And that problem is dipping your head and your upper body down too far forward when you're trying to do the 180. If you do that, it's going to cause your body to become unbalanced and your board will probably just shoot out behind you. For me, the key to fixing this was to try and keep my back straighter and my head up a little bit more. So at this point, you should probably understand a little better the concepts of popping your board, winding and unwinding your shoulders, and making sure that you don't dip your head too low into the rotation. So the next step would be trying to put these all together and landing it. Now, if you watched my front side 180 video, you may have noticed that there was one key thing that I kept emphasizing in that video that I've left out of this one. And that is the shifting of your weight from your back foot to your front foot as you turn around and do a 180. Well, with backside 180s, that same concept applies and practicing that method can really help you get the full rotation for this trick. 
but it's not what I normally do, so you've probably noticed that my 180s are kind of weird and I might land on the tail too far or be a little off balance when I roll away. Despite that, I'm still gonna try and teach you the pivoting method because it's probably really helpful if you learn it from the beginning. So to start off, you basically just wanna make sure you're good at doing your backside nose pivots. These can feel a little weird at first if you've never done one, but they're pretty easy to get used to. So the concept that you'd wanna learn is basically you're gonna ollie into this backside nose pivot. And the best way to do that is to little by little try and ollie landing on your front wheels and increasing the amount of pivot you give the board each time. Now you don't have to be rolling away from these. In fact, it's probably better if you do step off, but the main goal here is to get used to that feeling of popping your board, landing down on the front trucks, and then trying to swing the back of your tail around. Once you get comfortable with this, little by little, you should be able to get more of a rotation. And then if you've done everything correctly, you should be able to pop while slightly turning backside and then landing down on the nose and then continuing the pivot through with the back of your board. I think that this method is actually a lot easier to get the full rotation and little by little you can work into popping the board more and giving it less of a pivot and then finally just do the whole entire thing in the air. So basically somewhere between the first method of just popping the board and trying to turn and the second method of popping and then trying to pivot on your nose, you should be able to put all the things we learned into a nice little happy medium of a backside 180. The main things to remember are the importance of using your shoulders to turn, making sure that you don't dip your head down when you're doing the 180, using your back foot to sort of give the board a little scoop in the backside direction, and just keeping your front foot following the nose of the board in order to keep it from flipping over or doing anything crazy. And like with most other tricks, you wanna slowly work your way up through the steps and build upon what you learn as you go. So practice from standing still all the way through riding and fully doing it. So here are a few of my backside 180s. Keep in mind that my style on these is pretty bad, but I think I do understand the core concepts behind this one, at least well enough to try and teach you. So I hope that these tips helps you to learn this trick and at least get a little bit of a better understanding of how it works. So thank you all for watching, I'll see you next time and you can like and subscribe if you want.